And now to the investigation into the attack. Tonight, sources telling CBS News that the shooter's wife did try to stop him. CBS 4's Kerry Codd continues our coverage now. He's also live in Orlando. Kerry? Yes, the big question tonight is what did Omar Mateen's wife know about her husband's plans? And what did she do with that information if she did know anything? The focus of the investigation into Sunday's mass shooting at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando has shifted to Noor Salman, wife of murderer Omar Mateen. Sources tell CBS News that Salman told investigators she knew of her husband's plans to attack the nightclub and tried to stop him. Sources also say Salman has undergone a polygraph and could face criminal charges in the deadly attack. We've also learned that Mateen apparently cased Disney World as a possible target once in April and again earlier this month, and also cased the Pulse nightclub earlier this month. On the morning of the attack, we've learned that Mateen spent hours outside the nightclub before going inside, according to CBS News. On Tuesday, aerial pictures show investigators still scouring the ground outside the Pulse nightclub. They focused on evidence markers in the parking lot, showing where shell casings landed from a hailstorm of bullets. Investigators also were seen loading items into trucks. We're told the FBI will work to reconstruct the crime scene to piece together killer Omar Mateen's exact actions on the morning he entered the nightclub and murdered 49 people, leaving another 53 injured. He must have literally walked in as I walked to the back staff hallway, and that's when the um, shots went off. Amidst the investigation into the carnage of Sunday shooting, we're hearing the stories of heroism, like Imran Youssef's tale. He's a bouncer at Pulse who narrowly missed coming face to face with Mateen Sunday morning. He said he heard the shots from a high caliber weapon and risked his life to open a door to free people. I'm just screaming, open the door, open the door, and no one's moving because they're, you know, they're scared. And there was only one choice either we all stay there and we all die. Or I could either take the chance to get shot, save everyone else. And I jumped over, opened that latch, and we got everyone as we can out of there. How many people went through the door? <sighs> Probably over 60, 70. As soon as people found out that door was open, it kept just pouring out. You saved a lot of folks. I wish I could save more, to be honest. There's a <laughs> There's a lot of people that are dead. There's a lot of people that are dead. Very difficult to listen to that. Now, very quiet on the street here. Much different scene from earlier today. Several of the large mobile police units that were out here for the last several days on Orange Avenue left this area. We're hearing it could be another seven to ten days, though, before this street is open to traffic. Live in Orlando, Kerry Cott, CBS 4 News. Kerry, thank you.